Once again, all this was shot in that same alley. And, uh... uh Gloria's not all that well-versed in beating up thugs, but, uh... Between smiles, she, uh, she did just fine. And that thug is, once again, Ian Hannon. And, uh, you know, there's no glory in being a faceless street thug who gets clocked in the throat. But he's, uh, one of those actors who really gets involved and wants to help out and uh, made a big difference. In the event that you were driving in Century City, uh, just cruising down Avenue of the Stars, and you think you may have seen Robin leaping between the buildings, well, uh, you weren't seeing things. I don't know how we didn't get arrested for the shoot, because it's impossible to keep under the radar when you're wearing a cape and you're carrying a trampoline in one hand and a raft in the other. But uh, somehow we lucked out. Arkham Asylum. Or... Gabe's apartment building, take your pick. Now this took some extra effort, because uh, I'm the cop forcing Mark down into the chair, and uh, he, well, let's just say he wasn't getting the direction that I was laying out there. Um, so I opted for some pretty harsh comments that I think pushed him further from pretending to be mad to uh, being mad. And the end result was, uh, was great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, there's Batman again, and uh, you know who that is. Cousin Jamie. This shot was conceived because I found this mirror out by the dumpster, and story-wise, I wanted to make people wonder if, in fact, Batman had uh, really been killed. So we get a glimpse of him here, or, or what some may interpret as a flashback, or even a dream. And uh, as it turns out, the mirror didn't smash, but the bottles sure did, and man, what a mess. And uh, who better to exhume than the greatest detective of all time? That is, uh, assuming that's really him. <laughs> and for my money, if you're gonna stack the odds against your main character, there's no bigger underdog, there's no greater Goliath than uh, pitting Robin versus Superman. And uh, this shoot was outrageous because we had a good-sized crowd watching us film this. And, and it was awesome. Here we are, two cool guys, dressed like superheroes, battling on the beach. And, well, that was all great until Gabe had to go reload the film. Suddenly, without the camera around, here we are, two scary grown men dressed in tights and hanging out on the beach. That is not a normal thing. Ah, the balloons. 420 balloons. This was in lieu of a location that canceled, and knowing that Gabe was driving down to shoot for the weekend, I came up with this set on the spot. And, well, you'll notice here, I'm acting in slow motion, and it's really apparent when the camera is rolling at regular speed. Dork. Uh, equally dorky. Uh, thankfully, a little camera motion saved this shot. And on the flip side, we couldn't get Anthony out of character, uh, which wouldn't have been so bad if we had a trailer to send him to, because, you know, instead we got this crazy Chief O'Hara walking around all day. And that's, once again, Gabe doing the reckless roll across the cement. Of course, I fill in for the glamour shot. Yeah, it's not bad having an acrobat for a cinematographer. You probably didn't even see this in the film. Uh, this goes by so quickly, but here I am running down the street in downtown Los Angeles. Keep in mind, Gabe's filming from the car, and people on the street, they don't see the camera. They just see Robin sprinting down the sidewalk. And, and the boots, heavy like you cannot imagine, $200 boots, the most expensive shoes I've ever purchased. Hell, I, I don't own a $200 suit, but I got these things sitting in my closet. That's, uh, that's money well spent. Here we go again with forced perspective, and reason being, I didn't want to rely on doing things digitally. Uh, as it is, there's only four digital effects in the film, uh, and I think what makes this shot work is the giant piece of cardboard that's out of frame and casting Superman in shadow. Uh, also, you'll notice you never see Superman below the knee, because I didn't want to shell out the cash for yet another pair of Rockstar boots. And the close-up we did at a local garage, uh, my car went on the lift and with a little camera motion, you know, it gives the effect. 
we shot this in the LAX tunnel because I needed a lot of light and the wall creates the illusion of speed. For safety, we did this at 5 in the morning and the surrounding cars are my drivers. But uh, any way you look at it, this could have proved disastrous on a lot of levels. And I know my father is going to have a sit down with me about this one. On a lighter note, you're witnessing the worst left punch ever thrown in film history. Oh, that's bad. Still, I love this scene. It's elbow cousin Jamie in the face, punch cousin David in the jaw, and get tackled by roommate. And this is a pretty popular street in L.A. called the 405 Freeway. Oh, man. And here we are back at the studio, or what the other tenants call the parking garage. Oh, you gotta love the Green Lantern. His suit is really just a wetsuit outfitted with some green felt. And uh, this is great because... Once again, I'm directing via my back, and the actor can't see anything through the mask. Now, real science going on here. Brian pulling a fake lever, and uh, me just kneeling out of frame. Oh, this is good. That's the pool in my apartment complex, and to make this work, I needed to fashion an underwater submersible. Uh, my first attempt was not very well thought out. I simply converted the case I built for the Robin costume into a watertight container. The uh, Kleenex box, we called it. However, uh, it collapsed under the water pressure. So uh, that's when I went to work on the Archimus, which was two garbage cans that were bolted together and outfitted with uh, plexiglass windows. And uh, we had to strap about 350 pounds of weight to actually submerge it. Uh, still, the water pressure was so strong that Jamie and Anthony had to bear hug this thing uh, in order to keep it from bending out of proportion and crushing Gabe uh, inside it. Uh, then I just simply grabbed the chains, took a running leap, uh, and hoped I landed in the right spot. And honestly, this, uh, this was a lot of fun. Geez, I hate to uh, ruin this for you kids, but you know who this Superman is? It's Super Jamie. Jeez, I, uh, I still owe Jamie big for this one. Again, here we are in uh, my parking space, doing the Legends of the Fall step in front of Anthony Hopkins shot. You can see uh, that we had to duct tape the hose to the balcony railing because we were short an extra hand. And this is all Brian. <laughs> yeah, that still excites me. Last but not least, uh, we actually filmed this on my birthday. My father came out to visit and brought with him this giant grinder so we could uh, create those sparks in the background. Uh, naturally, we did this in my parking space and. Man, that grinder was loud. All the neighbors uh, were big fans of this shoot. Oh my. Yeah, put the smoke machine to work. Maybe a little too much smoke. But uh, we, we took a time out for some uh, birthday cake. Man, that was a good cake. Anyways, I hope that uh, answered a few questions. Maybe gave you a good laugh. And, well, who knows? Let's, uh, let's see where this leads. Let's see where this leads.